Hello everyone. I wanted to make this little video to, to try to clear up some of the confusion within Dynamo and how Dynamo sees family types and family instances within Revit because it can be a little bit confusing. The nomenclature within Dynamo is a little different than Revit. If you wanted to place, if you wanted to be able to select an instance, so let's talk about, let's go ahead and load in a family which would be, let's do some cabinetry. So we're going to load in this cabinet, which is of this 24-inch type. I'm going to load in another one, which would be a cabinet, which would be of this 33-inch type. Okay. Now, if I wanted to select this one within Dynamo, and you're going to always want to be selecting elements within Dynamo, uh, because uh, that's the only way to be able to manipulate them and, and extract geometry and extract uh, data. So what you do is, if you wanted to select this particular cabinet, which is of the 24 type, also notice that there is only one instance of that particular type right now. What you would want to do to select the instance of that family type is you would come over here to Revit and you would go under Selection. Now which one do you pick? There's a general categories and we will talk about this a little bit later. And this has just about every category within Revit. Um, they're not all in here though. Okay? So let's not talk about that at the moment. Uh, I don't like to use the category node um, immediately because sometimes you want to be able just to get the type. And if you want to get the type, then you would need to do uh, it a little bit differently. And let's talk about that. You would want to do uh, what you call family types. Do you see here? There's element types and family types. So under family types, it is actually going to list all the different family types that are out there. And what does that mean by family types? For let's first find our particular cabinet, which is a 24 inch. That's the one we want. Okay. And family types really are the placeable families. If you notice in Revit, when you click on a family, if you have the edit family button up here and you want to and you're able to edit the family it is of the it is of the placeable family type in contrast I will place this floor here this floor is a system family and I do not get the edit family button so if you want to know the difference between a system family and a placeable family if you click on the element and you get the edit family it is a placeable family if you click on the element and you don't get the edit family, then it's a system family. So if I want to just do so in in Revit, excuse me, in Dynamo, the family type is of that placeable family. The element type is of the system family. So the nomenclature in Dynamo is a little confusing. So this should really say placeable, placeable. <laughs> Or the non uh, see, system family types. That's what that is. In contrast to this one, which is the element types. The element type is the um, that's the one that uh, it actually basically works on a category as well. So we would come over here to floor. There we go. See that floor? This would say, this technically should say system family types. And with system families, that technically is not the system family type. If you want the system family type, you have to actually come down one more. And they have to be listed here uh, under the actual element. So in that one, we actually have the floor types. Now, floor types, that's correct. You're actually able to pull down and look at that 6-inch slab on grade, which is this one. Okay. Now, let's see how this looks when we actually run it. So let me move that category up here. 
Okay, so we got. We've got the placeable family, which is the one we basically deal with all the time. We've got the system family types. This should really say system family category, actually. That should actually say system family category. And, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute. And this is the floor type. Now, if I were to copy this... Okay, if I were to copy the system family out here and I were to change this to something else say the 12 inch slab on grade we now have a system family that is of the floor type 6 inch and of the 12 inch look how how Dynamo deals with placeable families okay so these are the family types so if I want to select the instances then I have to actually come over here to now that I have the system family type node in there I have to come to all elements of family type you see this this says all elements of family type elements is a little confusing this really should say all instances so we'll call that instances all instances of family type now if we wire that up together and we run it now let's actually before we run it we have to actually put in the watch node just so we can see what's going on. Okay. Now when I run this, I should only get one instance. Do you see this? This, when I click on it, will actually zoom in to that, uh, this particular cabinet. This cabinet is the only instance of this 24 inch type. Okay, now let's see how that works with the system family. Here's the system family. Now, if I want to pick this particular instance, uh, I can't do that. I would actually be picking both of them because this is the system family. It was called. Remember, it was called family types. This is actually the system family category, and I'll show you why. If we go here back to Revit and we and we, then we say uh, selection. Instead of doing all elements of family type, we do all elements of type. All elements of type is a little confusing. Again, this should actually say all instances. Instances of system. Uh, all instances of system category, not family type. Did you notice it did not show us the 6 inch slab on grade? Right? If this was truly the system family type, if this was the family type like it claimed, then it would have shown us the 6 inch slab on grade just like it did with the placeable uh, non-system family types. Do you see here? But do you see? No. This is a category. So, so just so, so I'm going to say accept that. Now, hold on a minute. Now, in this category, we are actually also able to look under floors. See, here's floors. Right here. See, that's actually the same thing. Can you see the category? So, let's keep going. So, all instances of system category. That's what that is. We're going to run. Oh, I got to run the watch node. And then you'll see what I mean. Here we go. Okay, now it just showed us the floors of, it showed us all types of floors. Now the difference is that it does show us the element ID, okay, but you don't know, you don't know here which one's which. Is this the, is this the 6 inch slab on grade or is this the 6 inch slab on grade? You don't know that. So if you want to do that, you got to take it one step further and you, and, and you actually have to run this one, the floor types. So if I run a watch note on this, see this floor types? This was actually in here as a selection. Now there are not a lot of these uh, system uh, system family types available to be selected in here. You have floors, you have walls, um, you have a few others. Um, you also have um, you have uh, grids, you have levels, but that's about it. 
So if you hit run, see now it's going to show you all of these. So now it's going to show you all the instances. So this says floor type. So if I had, if I'm going to cop now in contrast, I'm going to go ahead and copy this again. And now I have two instances of the same category. So if I run that one more time, do you see how it only, even though we have two instances, it actually only showed you one? And that's what this is doing. This is not showing you all the instances of this floor type. It is actually only showing you the type of the floor type. And this is comparable to, if I make another watch node, you see this placeable system family type? If I were to run this and hit run, see how it only shows you one of these? That's the same thing. That's where you go here. You use the category node. And then you come over here to all elements, elements of category. This should not say all elements of category. This should say all instances of category. Let's wire that up. Okay, let's run the watch node. Let's pull this watch node uh, here. And copy and paste this. Do you see how this says system family category? Isn't that the same thing we're getting here? So now you're probably asking, why is this all important? Well, this is extremely important to understand the difference between all these. Especially when we talk about family instance parameters and family type parameters. We will cover that in the next segment.